believe that's the first time I've ever spoken to you, surprisingly, so, yeah. over the years. I recognise you from your yeah. dubious past. <laughs> <laughs> but we have uh, 120 in particular, we're very supportive of the Manics no. from early days. I Thank think we're probably the much. first people who played those vids. I think so, yeah. But you don't need that kind of support anymore. You're, I think you're one of these termed as established bands then. Is that what you think you are, would you say? Um, I don't think any band is, is established. Most bands got a career of maybe three or four years, then they fade into oblivion and end up you know, checking out dull checks and the DSS, yeah. maybe. Or you go the other way, end up sort of checking in those tax accountants and making millions. That's, uh, that's the other alternative, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, but that's for the very lucky, the very few. Yeah. I don't think it'd be us, actually. <laughs> don't think, well, I always remember with the Mannix that you swore that after the first album you'd break up then anyway, which you obviously didn't do. No, I mean, that was our big ultimate aim. We wanted to be the perfect band that could make a record that sold globally, you know, millions, mm. and that there would be no need to make another record. All, all we've ever been interested in doing is making a record which encapsulates a mood and a time, and then it can be a full stop, you know, bye-bye, you know. Mm. No need to go and live with my dogs on the coast forever. Well, the last record, anyway, or the last record, was very well received for the group and, and was seen very much as a, a mature progression for yourselves as, as songwriters and also as musicians. You can put it yeah, I mean, it, it was called Mature, which is something that I find difficult to live with, but I guess it was. Mm. I mean, I think the older you get, the more life becomes more miserable definitely I mean you just all the people you grew up with die mm -hmm. you know your parents die your grandparents die your dog dies you know your energy diminishes there's less books to read there's no more groups to discover you know you just end up a barren wasteland just trying to find something new which never really occurs mm -hmm. now you end up finding worth in groups which maybe two or three years ago, you would have just spat on, which is depressing, which I do all the time. I mean, I'm getting to Buffalo Springfield, which, to me, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a nightmare. As the song said. It's a nightmare. For yeah. what it's worth, it's the best song, but, you know... Well, I mean, on that positive boring. note, then, what, what are the Maddox up to at this moment in time? Getting depressed or actually getting positive? Well, um, well since Philip died, we cancelled everything. Hmm. Um, I just went into a crabby little studio about a quarter of this room size mm. and just been writing new songs, just like we did at the, at the start. Yeah. Just trying to, you know, maybe... And Philip Hall, of course, was actually the special award this evening. Yeah. Philip. I know, Philip was a very special person to us. Um, it's pretty well documented, but we spent maybe a year, year and a half writing letters phone and journalist up, you know, people like MTV, you know, mm. any any address or phone number we got, we would write to or phone up, and there was, like, never any response because, like, an, an unknown band, you know, who, who cares, you know, wherever. Mm. And Philip was one of the first people that ever called us back, um, and he said he, he was interested in coming to see us play in London, uh, and, and we obviously could not get any concerts here at all mm. because it's impossible. So he drove down to see his practice in, you know, a crappy little school room right. in South Wales. Yes, I mean, it's well documented. The guy, he's a very big supporter of new music, and yeah. that's why he's represented you know, tonight at the awards. And he drove down, he saw us play, he liked what we did. He got us some gigs in the Bull and Gate, mm. you know, the Fog and wherever, and then just sort of looked after us. And even then, when we started to get some press, he just said, oh, you know, come and live with us. Mm. He'd, he'd be married maybe like a year. Um, so we slept on his like lounge, his kitchen, right. <laughs> you know, whatever uh, was available. So I appreciate that uh, for you this evening, uh, with, with him being represented, it's more of a, a kind of a reflective mood that you find yourselves I in mean, tonight. The only reason we're here tonight is because of Philip. I mean, okay. we've never been to one of these things before in our lives. Hmm. Um, it was just a memory of Philip that we came here. Um, we know the sort of band that they've seen en masse hmm. in these sort of public occasions. We're, we're a very private band. We didn't like these kind of showbiz sure. sort All of right. awards. Well, on from that, can I get a video out of you? Would you like to see anybody? Um, no. No, <laughs> yeah. Um, I quite like a rock sound by the police. Okay, we can go back in time. Thanks very much. The Long police. time ago.
Well, a terrific group. Is there a member of the stage in here?